Hello everyone, this is Mary from Limbei Machinery. So today I'm not introducing the machine for you. Here you can see on our table, there is a toolbox we will prepare for our customers. So um, some of you uh, or our customers who have bought our machines before, we know we will prepare a toolbox with a machine together shipped to your factory, to your country. Uh, now uh, I will uh, so I will uh, I will list them on the table and uh, tell you uh, the name of them and uh, then later we will go to the factory to introduce how to use it. Uh, these, uh, 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 these accessories uh, is very practical in our later installation or commissioning stage. Uh, okay, so uh, this is an um, adjustable spanner and this an um, L wrench. Uh, these two are all spanners just for used to unscrew different kinds, different sizes of screws and nuts. And uh, this is a tape, it's a long meter tape. And uh, this is an Koyo brand uh, encoder. And uh, this is a uh, bearing. There are many kinds of bearings. And uh, this is the uh, simplest one. Uh, this is a filter gauge and a flashlight and a mirror and a little round mirror which is not showed on the video. Uh, these three we were used uh, when we commissioned the roller gap, uh, when we changed the size of the materials. And uh, this is the two buttons we will uh, equip on the PRC board. Uh, the red one is the stop and the green one is the start and uh, here this is a pro proximity detector uh, this is one kind of limit sensor we have many kinds of uh, limiters on the machine and this is just one type of it uh, okay now that's all uh, so now let's go come with me to see how we use them when we commission the machine hello this is Mary from Lingbei. So here we have already brought the uh, spare toolbox in our factory. Now we will introduce every part in the toolbox, the situation they are used. Okay, now so the first one, you can see this is the hand wheel. You can see here in this reforming machine, the feeding part is equipped with one, two, three, four, four hand wheels. And uh, this hand wheel is more favorable when we have multi sizes profiles to produce. Every time we change the coil sizes, we can use the hand wheel to adjust the, the uh, roller clearance of the feeding so we can remember it. So like next time we, when we change the same width coil, we can just use the number on it. You can see there's a number on this here. Here. And here too. So you can see there are numbers on it. Okay, this is uh, you can you, this is the hand wheel so you can adjust it here. The next one is our chain. This chain brand is a Chinese Donghua brand. It's a very good brand in China. You can search it online, so you will know more details of it. And uh, we will prepare half meter long chain for you. And uh, the sizes of the chains, there are three, one, 1 1.2 and 1.5 inches. The sizes is according to your machine's configuration. And you can see the chain drive will have the chain and it's double rod, double rod uh, chain. And uh, also the chain can be used in gearbox drive too. And also maybe other some small parts of the machines. So it can be very useful for our customers. Okay, so on my hand there are two bearings. Uh, this, the brand of the bearing is HRB. It's the best Chinese brand of the bearing. And uh, so the bearing is here, you can see these are the bearings. It's for putting on the rollers, so it will need to withstand much more pressure on it. So the heart of it is very important. It can be a very essential part in our row forming. So, uh, there are usually three kinds of bearings and here this is the simplest one. 
uh, and it's, it's more favorable when we are producing some simpler profiles like roof panel or C channel. Um, so you can see uh, this is called um, deep roof bowl bearing. So you can see it's uh, double sided rubber uh, covered and uh, it's already be filled in the grease in our factory. So you don't need to fill the grease in it later. Uh, and uh, uh, it's dust prevent and also it can prevent the grease Effect, it can effectively prevent the uh, grease outflow in our later use. And uh, also because of the bearing's uh, low friction coefficient and uh, high limit speed, it can withstand much more load. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it has much more advantages than the thrust bearing when the bearing is in high rotate situation and uh, but uh, due to the lack of self-alignment uh, performance when we are installation when we are installed the bearings uh, the co 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 center seat co centricity of the bearing requirement will be high and uh, it will influence the stress and the balance and uh, the work life of the bearings so and uh, uh, there are two, two uh, uh, other kinds of bearings, which is called cylinder uh, bearing, uh, round cylinder bearing and the uh, spherical bowl bearing. And uh, the second one is more favorable when we have much more uh, higher load. Uh, it can withstand uh, more, more, he more heavy loads from both sides from both direction, which is the left and the right side. And uh, uh, the third one is the spherical bearing. So it can, uh, it, it will be more favorable when we use it uh, to adjust uh, the thickness of the rollers. Uh, when we producing much more punchy and uh, bending points profiles, uh, we will use the third, pro, uh, a third kind of bearings more. Okay, so that's the introduction of the bearings. We will confirm the bearing uh, you will use according to your profiles. Okay, so on my hand, this is a proximity sensor. Uh, every time, uh, this is Omron brand. It's also a Japanese brand. It's very famous too. Uh, so uh, here you can see on our machine, there are four sensors here. Uh, so the sensor is used every time. Uh, here, this, this performing machine has automatic width and height adjustment function. So here we use the sensor to sense the distance of the uh, rollers have gone on the guide rails. So every time when we are having the automatic uh, distance or width or height adjustment function, or when we are cutting, or punching, we will use the proximity sensor to know, to tell the machine how far or the distance it can go. So this proximity detector can not only be used in the reforming part, uh, and also we can use it in the cutting part. Not only the hydraulic cart, also the saw cart, and also when we have the flying cart, we can see there are termi two terminals and here also uh, this side and uh, that side both sides will have the sensors too uh, this is because uh, there will be a magnet on the sensor and uh, when the metal move move the closer to the magnet it will sense the metal so the light on it will be on then the machine will stop moving uh, so in this way to uh, to have the distance limit function. Okay, so now on my hand, this is the encoder. You can see on the box, it's Koyo brand. It's a Japanese brand. So uh, I will put it like uh, put it up and to see. So this is equipped uh, on the here, like here, this position. So usually it's on the end of the reforming and before the cut. It's for measuring the length. 
So uh, it will tell the machine how long the product has gone. So the uh, machine can stop feeding or keep feeding the products to the cutting part. And uh, uh, so, uh, okay, so we only we will put one for each machine. And uh, if the machine has automatic weights and the height uh, adjustment function, we will put two for the reforming part. It will according to your profile. Okay, and here on my hand there are two buttons. You can see there are two colors. So the red one is for the start, and the green one is for uh, sorry. The the red one is for stop. The green one is for start. And these two are the most used ones. So we will put two of them uh, for each for the for each machine on the box for you. Uh, these are used uh, on the PLC board. As you can see, on this board you can see many buttons. Uh, and uh, the start and uh, stop is most used. So um, this is also a Chinese brand. It's a CNT brand. It's also a very good brand too. You can search it online. You can, uh, you can search it online. Okay, so after the introduction of the accessories on the machine, now we will introduce some tools. This is very useful uh, in our uh, installation and uh, commissioning the machine part. So here, this is an adjustable spanner, and uh, this is a this is an Allen wrench, and uh, this is a tape. So these are very common and uh, uh, in our daily life too. Um, they are all for uh, unscrew the screws and the nuts and uh, the tape is for marrying the lens too uh, and also not for marrying the product lens also when we change the size of our products it can help us to know the distance we have changed uh, to have both sides um, adjustment and uh, now I will introduce you some uh, very useful tools in our actual uh, commissioning stage. This is a mirror and this is a filler gauge and this is a flashlight. So here, when we are producing multi-sizes products, usually we will need to change uh, the, the roller gap. So here I will show you how to use the filler gauge like this. So the filler gauge will be put in the uh, rollers, between the rollers. It can't be too tight, also can't be too loose. When you can tuck it in the rollers, it can be the right gap. So uh, it's very useful for our commissioning. And uh, here, the flashlight, the flashlight and uh, the mirror uh, it's also one thing we found very useful in our last visit to our customers. So usually the workplace, the factory, the environment is not very too light. So if the environment is too dark, we can use the flashlight to let us see more clearly. And uh, the mirror is help us to see more clearly of the roller gap too. So you can see the mirror can reflect the reflection of the rollers like this so you will see very clearly how the roller gap has gone right okay um, okay so these are some tools that we found very uh, very practical in our actual um, commissioning okay so that's all about our uh, accessories that uh, we put in our toolbox. You can see these are um, some uh, some of them looks very simple and very common in our life. And uh, but they are all very practical in our usage, especially when we commission and uh, install the machine. And uh, also. Uh, you may be worried about the commission of the machine. Usually, we will commission the machine before leaving the factory, and we will give you the menu of use and also installation videos. And also, our after sale group, we will have our engineers in it. 
we will be ready for you for 24 hours online. And uh, these tools is are to is is prepared to help you. Um, it's prepared to help you more easily to commission the machine. Uh, okay. So uh, if you have any uh, questions about our machine or you have any inquiries. Uh, please send us your inquiry. We will be ready for you all the time. And uh, also, please subscribe our channel if you are interested in our machine. Um, we will reply to you as soon as possible. Okay, bye-bye.